Number 73. A full-term fetus typically has a mass of 3.5 kilograms. Letter A. What pressure does the weight of such a fetus create if it rests on the mother's bladder, supported on an area of 90 square centimeters? So, again, they told us, you know, a mass. We know that they're asking for pressure, and they gave us an area, right? So we're probably thinking about using one of the two formulas over on the right-hand side. I'm going to use the one, the third one, basically, right? Since it involves the mass, just make our life a little easier. So this is going to be the pressure will equal the mass of the object multiplied by gravity, all divided by the area over which this force is being applied. So now, uh, what I can do here is I can basically just, right, we ask to solve for pressure, so we have to make sure we have all standard units. I'm going to be using meters, okay? So you have to convert the 90 square centimeters. So 90, this is centimeters squared. Centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top, 100 centimeter for every one meter. Make sure you square that result, and we're good. So the pressure here is going to be equal to the mass, which is 3.50 multiplied by gravity of 9.8, all divided by the um, area in square meters. So that's going to be 90 over 100 squared. So let's throw it into the calculator and, cal and calculate that pressure. So 3.5 times 9.8 divided then by, in parentheses now, 90 divided by 100 squared. And we get a value of about 3,000 or 3.81 times 10 to the third Pascals. So that is the pressure. Okay, so that works. Then for letter B, what do they ask us now? Um, for letter B, uh, convert this pressure. Okay, convert this pressure to millimeters of mercury and determine if it alone is great enough to trigger the micturition reflex. It will add to any pressure already existing in the bladder. So uh, basically what they mean in common parlance, uh, the micturition reflex is known as a PP. So let's see if it'll trigger the PP reflex. So uh, what we need to do is convert this value into millimeters of mercury. So we have a conversion factor. So this is 3.81 times 10 to the third Pascals. All right. I know that there is approximately 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal for every 760 millimeters of mercury. You may have this already simplified, but that's how I remember it because I basically have the equivalence to atmospheres, right? If For those of you who have taken chemistry, you will understand what I'm talking about here. For those of you who haven't, uh, it, you don't need to take chemistry in order to understand that, but it, these are um, usually a lot of, most of the calculation chemistry are in atmospheres. Anyway, uh, let's just do the calculation. So this is going to be that value multiplied by 760 divided then by 1.013 times 10 to the fifth. And we get a value of approximately, so the millimeters of mercury here, right, the Pascals go bye-bye, so the millimeters of mercury here will be about 28.6 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so this is the amount of pressure on the bladder. Um, and so now in order to know if you're going to pee-pee, you have to figure out if this you know, pressure is high enough to trigger that reflex. I think the reflex is somewhere like around 25 or something like that. Pretty sure it's about 25 millimeters of mercury. So any pressures that exceed this will trigger the PP reflex. And uh, this does. So it, it is higher and PP occurs. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.